Hi all my LGBT friends and others, welcome to my channel, uh, Christian and non-Christian. Uh, today I would like to uh, challenge all of my gay uh, LGBT community who are Christian to keep your Jesus spirit inside of you. Um, to keep your light shining, if you will, okay? The Spirit of, of, of the Lord inside of you shining to other Christians who still condemn this community. Because when you do that, it causes them to um, take a look at themselves, number one. They recognize in you the same spirit that they have in them, their spirit recognizes your spirit. And you are known, you know, by your fruits. So if you continue to be Christ-filled and to see with Christ's eyes others, then they have to question that within themselves. If they truly are Christian, love the Lord and, and, and this, uh, this Bible, okay? They have to look at it, okay, or deny it, one one or the other. And um, they, they'll have to go back to their Bibles and question what it is that the Lord has to say. And really, if they really care, uh, they will delve into the Bible even more so. And it will gnaw at them and it will eat away at them until they do. So, uh, you know, use it as a battle tool, <laughs> if you will, um, to help our brothers and sisters see that they need to see people with Christ's eyes. And as in Romans 2, not to do this, okay, um, therefore... Thou art inexcusable, O man, whoever thou art judgest. For within thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest doesn't, that doesn't the same thing. Okay, I know it's the old King English. But basically just saying, if you judge somebody else, you are condemning yourself and therefore you're judging, you know, the same thing, okay? So, uh, in chapter 2, uh, it also says, but we, we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which committed such things, okay? So, we're, we're so righteous. We know that they're wrong. <clears throat> um, these Christians are influenced by the Bible and their culture and their history and their upbringing and the, the social norms, okay? So uh, we have to take all of that into account uh, because they just don't know. They just don't get it. They don't understand it. They don't know what to do with it still. And they don't know the history. And I love history. Um, I don't know if you guys, if I've ever said that, but I really do. I really love history because history teaches us uh, things that we've forgotten, okay, and that we don't know. And hopefully we don't repeat it, but we often do. So in our history, we know that the Christians uh, set up bathhouses, we know that Christians. Um, were against prohibition. We, you know, we know that the Christians are the ones that marginalized the gay community um, to begin with. Uh, we know that in the in the Bible it talks about how uh, the, uh, the they use the term for the longest time effeminate because it was okay back in the ancient days if your sexual partner was effeminate, then there was, if you were straight or, you know, whatever, it was okay for you to have sex with that person. 
because they were effeminate. It had nothing to do with gender identity. That didn't come until uh, the 40s, okay, really. Uh, the first time that the, the, the word homosexual was printed in a Bible was in 1958 and, and maybe even beforehand in the 40s, in the late 40s. Uh, effeminate, the word effeminate was changed out for the word homosexual. So effeminate, when we understood it, did, did not mean homosexual, okay? Um, and it wasn't until much later the Catholic Church adopted the same thing. They used the word masturbation and then they changed it to homosexual. So um, it's, not, it's not correct. It could, that's, our, that's our history. Um, in sort of a nutshell, I know I'm being really quick here because I only have this short amount of time here on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, but, you know, uh, you who are judging the, those Christians, you also will be judged by God. So if you're a, a gay, lesbian, transgendered, bi, queer, questioning person in our community, you need to look, if, and you're Christian, and you believe in God, you know there's God, you know God made you just the way that you are, you know within your heart, you know, you with all of your being, every fiber of your being, that you're perfectly all right, okay? And it's just a matter of trying to convince everybody else. Believe it, that's a, that's a horrible sentence to be, to be placed on somebody, especially a young child. Um... My heart goes out for the children who are having to face who they are and, and trying to convince their parents that they're okay, that, they're, that there's nothing wrong with them, that we are a gift, that we were meant as a gift to our parents according to God and according to his word, okay? The, the eunuchs who are made, okay? And if you, if you follow the eunuch prophecies from Isaiah to Acts, um, you look at some of my other YouTube uh, 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 topics on the eunuch. You can find out more about that. Um, today's Yesterday's eunuch is today's homosexual, just to kind of put it uh, bluntly. But I, I would really, that's my challenge to my gay uh, community, all right, um, LGBTQ community to who believe in God is to keep your light shining so that they start questioning themselves so they start looking into so that they start looking at the seven or eight cha uh, verses uh, that talk about homosexuality and they start looking into it if they if they really do care and want to know because they're going to be judged ministers and you know, like I said before, if you're if you're preaching the wrong thing and you're saying the wrong thing, my ministers and my pastors out there, you will be judged by God. Okay, so you have to be very careful about what you're saying. You don't want to be put out to the dark mist, okay, for however long. All right. Um, uh, my nose is running, so if you, forgive me. It's still, it's still allergy season or something going around. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I really would like to challenge that for you, especially since you know we're coming up upon the Sabbath, um, to go into your your churches, your non-denominational churches, and just be yourself. Be your, you know, be the light of Jesus that is in you to others who are still maybe questioning. I know within our own community, we talk about each other and not nicely, <laughs> okay? We're very, very harsh on each other. Uh, and, and, and rightfully so, we've been, we've been dealt harshly as well, but it doesn't make it right, you know? Um, even I sometimes have to, uh, to put on and remember that, um, I need to look at people with Jesus's eyes, not with Margie's eyes, you know? And if I don't understand something, to look into it and to study it and to, to be compassionate and to be loving 
and to, as, and as I've always, you know, keep trying to tell you guys to be loving to one another. We have forgotten that. And Christians have forgotten it as well. To be loving and to look at each other with Christ-filled eyes and love in their heart. And not to be judging and condemning. But allow that to be left to the Lord, okay? Until, you know, you have really thoroughly studied and prayed upon it. And if it's still gnawing at you, it's still bothering you, something's unfinished, something is undone, uh, and still needs to be righted. So I challenge that to my community. I challenge that to Christians to take a look further into what, what is it um, you know, that Christ has asked you to do, and are you doing it? And if you are not, then why? Why aren't you? And um, I have a YouTube friend on here, Kathy Bulduck. And I would suggest you take a look at some of her YouTube channel um, and, and, and her website. Uh, look on YouTube, Kathy Bulduck. Um, and she is a straight Christian who um, met somebody hiking who was not a Christian, who was Native American, who could keep up with her hiking, and who's, who was a lesbian. Who challenged her in a time of crisis in her life and isn't it isn't it funny how God's you know the crisis that you think that you're having is actually God's tender mercy to you right it's his tender mercies to you to take a look at what you're being challenged with he's always refining us he's always not testing but ref, you know still uh, refined still or sharp, still sharpen steel, right? Okay, so we, we are being challenged all the time because he's molding and making us better to be ready for the kingdom. And so I want to challenge you to, to do that and, and to continually do that. I wish you a happy rest of your week. Thank you so much for turning, turning into my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a, a nice comment, if you will, if you have any comments about it. Um, or if you want me to talk about something in particular, leave me a comment. So enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.